Hello, I'm Amy Blaylock. Welcome to City Hall this week. The City Council will be a mix of familiar and new faces as a result of the 2015 local election. Bill Bell will serve his eighth term as mayor and Steve Shule will keep his at-large seat. Newcomers Jillian Johnson and Charlie Reese will fill the other two at-large seats. Those seats were previously filled by Eugene Brown and Diane Katati, neither of whom sought re-election. If you have to travel along Minerva Avenue in the coming weeks, be sure and allow a little extra time to get where you're going. The Public Works Department is replacing storm drainage pipes between Buchanan Boulevard and Watt Street. Part of the street will be partially blocked until November 23rd in order for the project to be completed. Members of the Jordan Lake Partnership are choosing to stay the course with their collaborative efforts toward regional water supply planning. The partnership, which is made up of 13 towns, cities and counties, including Durham, approved a $120,000 contract with Fountain Works. The company will continue its coordination and support of the work of the partnership in order for water supply planning to be approached on a more regional and sustainable level. These efforts include establishing a western water intake on Jordan Lake. Fountain Works facilitates collaborative activities of the partnership, serves as a central clearinghouse for information and communication, and organizes and supports partnership meetings. The city is laying the groundwork for the future expansion of the Water Management Department's Mist Lake facility. The Mist Lake Facility Master Plan calls for better utilization of existing resources, consolidating the department in a single location, and addressing the department's current and future space needs. The plan achieves this through the building of a new facility at the current Mist Lake site. In order to make room for that expansion, the city will pay $155,000 for 28 acres at 1902 Camden Road, which is adjacent to the current site. The expansion will not only address the needs of the department, it will also free up space in the Public Works Operations Center, which is where many water management employees currently work. The city is moving ahead with plans to turn the former Duke Diet and Fitness Center into a stormwater retrofit wetland project. The nine-acre site is located at 808 West Trinity Avenue at the headwaters of South Ellaby Creek, where the Trinity and downtown basins meet. The city will pay $1 million to buy the site from Duke University so that it can build a large regional stormwater retrofit project. The project will help the city comply with the Falls Lake rules by reducing the amount of nitrogen and phosphorus from existing development before they reach Falls Lake. The overall stormwater project is expected to cost approximately $8 million. Some of the city's recreation center space will soon be used in a new way to continue to help foster thriving and livable neighborhoods. The W.I. Patterson Recreation Center will be leased to the Achievement Academy of Durham during the school year when the city is not offering programming at the facility. The organization will use the space to provide programming to help residents increase literacy skills, earn a high school equivalency diploma, and to take advantage of post-secondary learning opportunities. The program serves up to 150 youth and adults each year. That does it for City Hall this week. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can also find us on demand on Durham Television Network's webpage and on YouTube. I'm Amy Blaylock. Thank you for joining us. This has been a production of Durham Television Network.